task to be performed is in the Is this a member column. We want to display the text Yes if the customer is a member and the text No if the customer is not a member. We will use the if function and extract this information from the membership table. Let's first look at what really is an if function. What we know for now is that the if function is helpful when making decisions. The if function is a logical function. A logical function tests the logic of a situation and it returns a particular result. The if function evaluates a condition and it returns one value if the condition is true and a different value if the condition is false. It has the syntax. We will look at the syntax of the if function in more detail in a moment. For now, let's take an easy to understand example. If you are a student, then you get a 50% discount for buying a new computer. If you are not, then you don't. The logical test here is, are you a student? If the condition is true, then the result if the condition is true is you get 50% discount. If the condition is false, then the result if the condition is false, you get 0% discount. If is a three-step function, or better said, a three arguments function. So, an if function has three arguments. One logical test and two results. The result to be displayed if the logical test is true, which in our case is 50% discount, and the result to be displayed if the logical test is false which is 0% discount. And these three things are exactly what we need to enter in the function arguments dialog box for the function if. Let's view the same example in an Excel worksheet. In the first column, we have the customer names. The second column answers the question if they are students or not. And the third column displays the result that the if function produces for the customer discount. Now, let's look at how the IF function is built. Let's focus on the first record for the customer Andrews. The logical test here is, is Andrew a student? We look and we see that the answer for this question is in cell B5. Then our question becomes, is cell B5 yes? Which in mathematical terminology is translated into, is B5 equal to yes? Excel makes a quick comparison and sees that B5 cell has a value that is different from the text value yes. It also does not matter what else is in that cell, but only the fact that it is different, which indicates that the logical test is false. The result, if false, in our case is 0% discount. Let's repeat the thinking process one more time. This time, let's jump to the third record for the customer Carter and see how the if function thinks for someone who is a member. Is Carter a student? We look and we see that the answer for this question is in cell B7. Then our question becomes, is cell B7 yes? Which in mathematical terminology is translated into, is B7 equal to yes? Excel makes a quick comparison and sees that B7 cell has a value that is the same as the text value yes, yes equals yes, indicates that this logical test is true. The result, if true in our case, is 50% discount. And now let us keep only the essential in front of us and clear the verbiage and the Excel spreadsheet and watch everything come into place. If B7 equals yes, the result, if true, is 0.5. The result, if false, is zero. This is the bare bones of the if function. And these are the three function arguments that you are responsible for typing in the dialog box of your if function. Excel will nicely package everything for you and the if function syntax will look like this. One more thing. Make sure that you do not add any spaces in your formula. 
that for the text values that you must use in any of your function arguments, such as the text yes, you type it between quotation marks. And remember to not type quotation marks for the numerical values. And just for consistency's sake, let's now see how the if function argument dialog box looks like for our specific example. This is what you will see in your formula bar on the ribbon. Let's now complete this step in the Excel worksheet. Select cell C5 to construct the IF function for the customer Andrews. The IF function can be found on the ribbon in the Formulas tab, in the Functions library under the Logical Functions. Select and click IF. The Function Arguments dialog box will open and you can start typing the arguments as shown before. B5 equals open quotation marks, type the word yes, close quotation marks, and press tab or enter to move to the next field, to the next argument. Value if true, point 0.5, press tab. Value if false, zero. And now Press OK or the Enter button on your keyboard and the Function Arguments dialog box closes and you can view the result of the constructed IF function in cell C5 and the function syntax in the formula bar. I can even ask Excel to spell it for me so that I can verify what arguments I typed for the function. Just double-click the cell and the color-coded function syntax will appear in cell C5 with a screen tip just below. Press Escape to exit the editing mode for the function. All that remains to be done now is to copy the formula for the rest of the customers. Notice that the customer Evans, which has a www under Is This a Student, will not receive a discount, as anything else but yes will receive a zero discount. Also, notice that even the customer Ivans, who is a member, will not receive a discount. This is because the word yes is spelled incorrectly and the text value is different than what Excel compares it against. Next, let's return to the Excel Grader project demo file and construct a slightly different IF function. This time, we will do it the other way around. The discount is given now in column C and we need to display as the two results the words yes for members and no for non-members. Click cell D5 to make it active. From the function library in the logical function category select the if function. For the logical test the question is is value in cell C5 greater than zero? Press tab to move to the value if true argument. Type quotation marks the word yes, close quotation marks. Press tab to move to the value if false argument. Type quotation marks the word no, close quotation marks, and then click the OK button. Now verify that the result for the first record, Andrews, who is a business member, is yes. The last step is to copy the formula to the remainder of the customers. And this ends the tutorial about the IF function.